Okay, today let's develop some of our collage skills. So we have lots of different techniques that we can use with collage. So there's something called positive and negative shape. So if I was to cut something out of this paper, it would give me two shapes. Okay, so first I have this organic shape here, kind of looks like almost like a strawberry or something. But then I also have a negative shape that's left inside um, or in this paper, the paper that I used to cut from. So what's cool about this is that these both become really interesting elements to add to a collage. So I'm gonna set these aside and see how I can use them in my collage later. So again, a negative shape here and the positive shape. So another thing we can do when working with collage is utilize a hole puncher. So a hole puncher is actually a great tool for, for creating positive and negative shapes. So I have all of these little tiny circles, those are my positive shapes, and then left behind in this piece of paper, I have the negative shapes of those holes. Both of these become great elements for a collage. I can use this for, for something, but I can also use these little tiny dots as well. So I'll move these off to the side. So something else we can think about when we're making collage is overlapping. So overlapping means putting one shape on top of another shape. And overlapping creates the illusion of space. So if I were to overlap something like this, certainly more interesting than just some squares next to each other. So something to consider. So another technique that's similar to overlapping but gives you a little bit of a different effect is layering. So if I start with kind of, start with a similar shape, so I have lots of squares here, and I layer them on top of each other and just kind of build up. So I can also create texture by tearing. Okay, and that tear creates a texture. To me, this right here looks like grass. So maybe if I do this with maybe a green or, it doesn't have to be green, it could be a yellow hillside. Um, it gives me kind of that natural nature look. So I can also create texture by cutting. So I could just use scissors to kind of snip. So I can also create symmetrical shapes. So if I fold my paper and cut on the fold, okay, so my fold's here. If I cut on the fold, okay, I have a symmetrical shape. So symmetrical means same on both sides. So I have a positive shape and then I have another negative shape that I could use. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna see what I can make with all of these different techniques. So my goal here is to create something balanced. So balanced means not too heavy on one side. So if you think of like a balance beam and how one side lowers as the other side rises, I'm gonna try to achieve some sort of balance here by making it um, similar on both sides of my paper. So let's see what I can do.